Hello students, this is Argan Kishore. Today we are going to discuss about positional isomers. Positional isomers means compounds having the same molecular formula but differing the position of either functional group or unsaturation. Unsaturation means either double bond or triple bond or substituent. It is also named as locant in the given length of carbon chain are called positional isomers. So positional isomers means compounds having the same molecular formula but differ in their position of functional groups. So in case of positional isomerism, isomeric number will be same. The only difference is position. The first example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbons present in the compound it is named as pentanol. Here, alcohol present in the second position. So, it is the 2 pentanol. 2 pentanol. And second compound 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is named as 3 pentanol. And next one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is named as 1 pentanol. So, all the three compounds having the same functional group, same molecular, same root word, pent, pent, pent. But position, the first compound alcohol position in second position, second compound alcohol position is third position, third compound alcohol position is first position. These three compounds having same isomeric number, mention having 5 carbons, no branch, 50. It has isomeric number 50, 50. So, these three compounds have the same molecular formula but differ in the position of functional OH functional group. Hence, these three are positional isomers. Second one. So, here unsaturated compound 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbons present in the long chain. The whole one position is first position. It is named as 1. Pentene. It is named as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 pentene. 1 pentene, 2 pentene. Both have a same molecular formula, same parent chain, but first compound position of double bond is first position. Second compound position is double bond position is second position. So isomeric number. So first compound having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Isomeric number 50, second one also 50. Both are positional isomers. Third one. So it is named as 1 chloropropane. 1 chloropropane. It is named as 2 chloropropane. 1 chloropropane, 2 chloropropane. Both having same root word but substrate position first compound having first position second compound having second position so its isomeric first compound isomeric number 30 second one 30 isomeric number same position of substrate is different hence these two are position isomers the next one is 1 2 3 4 5 2 methyl pentane and second one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 methyl pentane. So both having same parent chain position of substrate, methyl position. First compound, second position, second compound, methyl position is third position. So both are positional isomers. Same this compound isomeric number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 40. This compound also is equal number 40, but here double bond position is 1, here double bond position is 2. So, both are positional isomers. So, it is named as 2 butene, it is named as 1 butene. And sixth one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 carbons, hexene, hexine, double bond. It is named as 1 hexine. 1 hexine, 1 hexine, it is named as 2 hexine, 
and it is named as three hexane. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the three compounds having same length of the parent chain, but differ in the position of unsaturation means triple bond position. So first compound triple bond position, first position. Second compound triple bond position, second position. Third compound, third position. All the isomeric number sixty, sixty. 60. So isomeric number same, only position difference, hence these three are positional isomers. Then seventh one, it is named as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbons, 1 chloropentane. Second one, 2 chloropentane. Third one, 3 chloropentane. All having the same molecular formula, same parent chain, only different the position of chlorine atom. Hence these three are positional isomers. Eighth one, in this compound, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbons built having triple bond. I, first compound, triple bond position, first position means 1 butyl, it is named as 2 butyl. Both are positional isomers. Ninth one, very very important, aromatic compound, benzene. Benzene having two chlorine atoms present in the 1 and 2 positions. It is the 1, 2 dichlorobenzene. It is the 1,3 dichlorobenzene. It is the 1,4 dichlorobenzene. Three compounds having isomeric number same. So, first compound having isomeric number 60, second one 60, third one 60. But first one chlorine portions, 1,2 portions means R2 portions. Second one 1,3 portions means para beta portion. And last one 1,4 portion, one portion means para portion. R2 Auto dichlorobenzene, meta dichlorobenzene, para dichlorobenzene. These three are positional isomers. And tenth one. So benzene having two methyls. Dimethyl benzene, one two dimethyl benzene, one three dimethyl benzene, one four dimethyl benzene. Auto dimethyl benzene, meta dimethyl benzene, para dimethyl benzene. These three are positional isomers. So the basic condition is positional isomers means compounds having the same molecular formula but differ in the position of either functional group or unsaturation or substance present in the given length of the parent chain are called positional isomers. Total 10 examples. Then question. Identify the isomers. 10 questions, 10 compounds. The first compound is, so in this compound we will have one methyl and one ethyl. Both are present in one two position. Second compound, 1 3 position. Third compound, 1 4 position. So these three are positional isomers. Why? Because these three having root word is same 62, 62, 62. Isomeric number is same. Root word, benzene having 1 methyl, 1 methyl in 1 2 position, 1 3 position, 1 4 position, positional isomers. And benzene having 3 methyls, trimethyl benzene. 1, 2, 3 trimethyl benzene, 1, 2, 3 trimethyl benzene, 1, 2, 4 trimethyl benzene, 1, 3, 5 trimethyl benzene. These three are positional isomers. And next one, keto groups. Present in 1, 2, diketo, 1, 2 diketo benzene, 1, 2 diketo cyclohexane, 1, 3 diketo, 1, 4 diketo cyclohexane. These three are positional isomers. And 14th one. Methanol and OH both are in 1 2 question. So 1 2 <coughs> are the so 1 2 question and second compound 1 3 question, third compound 1 4 question. These three are positional isomers. Uh, these three having isomeric number 61, 61, 61. So chain isomeration means different isomeric number. Positional isomeration means same isomeric number but differ in the position of functional groups. Next one is 15th one, one of the important compound based on IUPAC rules numbering starts from double bond carbon 1, 2, 3, 4 carbons. It is named as 2 methyl 1 butene. So it has root word having 4 carbons, 1 branch, isomeric number 41. And second compound having 1 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons present in the long chain. 2 pentene, 
5 carbon spherical branch chain. Isomeric number is 5 carbons. It has no branches. So its isomeric number is 50. So 41 and 50. Isomeric number differs. So these two are chain isomers, not a positional isomers. Next, 16th one. Chlorine and bromine present in the 1 2 position, first compound. Second compound having 1 3 position. Third compound having 1 4 position. So all having same isomeric number 60, 60, 60. But different the position of substituents chlorine and bromine. First compound having chlorine and bromine present in 1 2 position. Second compound 1 3. Third compound 1 4. So very, very, very simple. Positional isomers means compounds having the same molecular formula but differ in the position of either functional groups or unsaturation means either double bond or triple bond or substituents or locants present in the given length of the carbon chain are called positional isomers. One important note point in positional isomers. For all kids, minimum 6 carbons required to exhibit positional isomerism. 5 carbons, not possible. 4 carbons, not possible. Minimum 6 carbons required to exhibit positional isomerism. For example, 5 carbons taken in the strike end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and second portion 1 methyl group. So it is named as 2 methyl pentane. And second arrangement, 5 carbons taken in the strike line. And third portion, methyl, 3 methyl painted. Push isomers, 6 carbons. Consider 5 carbons, 4 carbons taken in the strike line. Second portion, methyl group. And 4 carbons taken in the strike line. Third portion, methyl group. Means from that side to, from right side to left side, second portion. Both are not push isomers, both are identical. So, 5 carbons not sufficient to write positional isomers. So, for all kids, minimum 6 carbons required to exhibit positional isomers. What about all kids? For all kids, minimum 4 carbons required to exhibit positional isomers. For example, 4 carbons right line, first portion double bond, 4 carbons right line, second portion double bond. Position isomers. For alkanes also, minimum 4 carbons sufficient to exhibit positional isomers. First portion triple bond, second portion triple bond. So, for alkanes minimum 6 carbons. For alkanes minimum 4 carbons. For alkanes also minimum 4 carbons required to exhibit positional isomerism. Then, one important model question, draw the positional isomers of given structure. So, first possible arrangement, benzene having first portion chlorine, second portion chlorine, 1, 2 arrangement and second one is 1, 3 arrangement, another possible arrangement and third one is 1, 4 arrangement. So, total three arrangements are possible. 1, 1 arrangement, it is possible. 1, 1, one, one arrangement not possible, but because Carbon hybridization is sp2 already one pi bond is present. So one one arrangement having total six carbons possible. That is the reason why one one arrangement not possible. Then second one dichloro one two dichloro one three dichloro one four dichloro one four dichloro. So it has three arrangements possible. Next, three chlorines. One, two, three, one arrangement. One, two, four, another arrangement. One, three, five, another arrangement. Total three. Only three possible. So possibilities in the draw set. Draw set set up maximum repeat carbon to score. Any possibilities of the analysis. In case of fourth compound, chlorine and bromine, one two question, bromine, third question, then 
chlorine and bromine portions are fixed and interchange the bromine portions. Then next one, chlorine, bromine, interchange the bromine portion, another arrangement. Then chlorine, bromine, interchange the another portion. So, four possibilities and the next possibility chlorine, bromine, bromine. One, three, four question and the next one is one, three, five question. One chlorine, three bromine and five bromine. Total six possibilities in case of fourth one. Then fifth compound. In this compound, chlorine, bromine, bromine, bromine. First arrangement. Second arrangement, chlorine, bromine, bromine. Interchange the position of bromine. Exchange the position. Then next one, chlorine. Bromine, bromine, bromine. Next arrangement. And chlorine. Change the position of bromine. So, so bromine positions, bromine positions are fixed. Change the position of chlorine. Another arrangement. And the next arrangement is chlorine, bromine, bromine, bromine. And one more arrangement chlorine. Bromine, bromine, bromine. So it has six arrangements possible for fifth compound. And what about sixth compound? Sixth compound, the first arrangement is one, two, three, four, five. And the second arrangement is chlorine. Bromine, bromine. Interchange the position of bromine. And the next arrangement is chlorine, bromine, 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 and bromine. So it has only Three arrangements. So the first compound having three answer, second compound having three, third compound having three, fourth compound having six, fifth compound having six, sixth compound having three possibilities.